There are many ways of doing business today. Hello? Call centers, mobile apps. Right away. But when it comes to what really matters, our way is pretty simple. To be there when you need us most. That's the quality of your independent agent and the company that stands behind them. Or Insurance in Dublin is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Welcome to Chamber Talk. We have another great show for you today. We are actually at the Dublin Mall today, and I have John Engler. John, thank you for joining me today. John is with McKnight Properties, and, and John actually comes up out of Augusta about an hour and a half away, but but he has folks here on the ground and a, a team here in place at the mall. And uh, John, you guys are doing a lot of exciting things here, but before we get into to all of that, tell me a little bit about McKnight Properties. You guys are the actual owners of the mall and the property here, correct? That's correct. We are, and uh, we're very fortunate. We uh, have a long history, uh, ties back. It's a, it's a family-run organization, and we uh, tie back to the 1960s is when the company initially was started. So I've been involved with Dublin for a long time now in, in various different ways, and so uh, I've known this market for a long time, and it's very special to the, to the ownership. Okay, and you're going to hear some strange noises every now and then in the background. we got some some things, I think, for the kids to ride out here. Uh, James, our cameraman, he's wanting to ride on the airplane over there, and so so we might hear some giggling and laughing a little bit. But um, with with McKnight Properties, tell me a little bit again about how – are you guys regional or, or national? How, how much work and how just how much do you guys do? We, we're pretty much in the southeast, and we've got properties all over the southeast and uh, in different capacities of retail, office, and, and hospitality. And so – uh, we're a very unique company in the fact that we have some, uh, you know, we do all third party items are pretty much done in house. We have our own leasing team, our own management team. We have actual 24 7 boots on the ground here in the Dublin area. Um, and so we're, we're very fortunate in the fact we also have a relationship with a sister company, which is a construction company. So we're able to do things with construction that maybe uh, some other companies aren't available to do, but it's all in house. And so for estimating and things like that, and some of the renovations we're doing here, we've got a very good grasp of what's going on. Okay, and, and so before we lead into those innov renovations and, and innovative new things that may be happening here, uh, for myself and some folks that may be watching the show today, let's, let's do a little history of the Dublin Mall. When did the Dublin Mall come to be and, and kind of talk to me about its origination? So Dub the Dublin Mall, and, and you're, you're talking about pre-John pre, pre Engler, so mm -hmm. uh, it, it came around the, in the late 60s and 70s. Um, and so back then, uh, enclosed malls were, you know, a hot, hot item in the, in the southeast and various different markets. And so uh, the original Dublin Mall actually stopped at TJ Maxx and stopped at Belk. And so it wasn't until later, uh, I believe it was in the 80s, that the farmer's furniture and things like that were added on. And so the additional buildings that were where PetSense are now and Advanced Auto and Starbucks, all that was never really originally here as part of the mall. It was just this main central area. Um, and so that's kind of a little backdrop on the history. Um, we're very fortunate. We've still got a couple of tenants that have been here a long time. Uh, you know, we've got Linda's, which is a local shop, which mm -hmm. we, we pride ourselves really on local retail. Um, I know sometimes that's not always the actual uh, perception we get in the in the Dublin market, but we really are we're, we're shop local. I mean, we love local markets. That's a big theme of us of all our regional properties is we want people from Dublin to support Dublin, and we also want Dublin shops to come and locate here. We've got space available, and we think we're a great location for the city to be like a city center. We're also very fortunate with Belk. Belk's been here through various different names from the inception, really. I mean, uh, it used to be the Matthews Company and done different things from there. So, you know, Belk's been here since, uh, really since the beginning. And so I know it's a pivotal part of the city and I know it's also part of the member of the chamber in Dublin. So it's, a, it's unique and, and great that we have a, a parent company been here the whole time. Absolutely. And, and we support uh, you guys and Belk being here. We appreciate their, their investment in the community. John, we're going to take a quick commercial break and when we come back, we're going to talk about some of the exciting new things that are on tap for the Dublin Mall. Hope you'll stay with us. Hi, I'm Jeff Cannon, President of Citizens Bank of Lawrence County. If you're presently a customer of ours, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for allowing us to be your bank. We appreciate the confidence you have placed in us and enjoy providing you with the most up-to-date banking products and services to satisfy your needs. If you're not a current customer, we would like to invite you to stop by and let us show you true community banking at its best. 
We concentrate on our local community, doing our part to make Dublin and Lawrence County a better place to live, work, play, and retire. We recently introduced two new products, eStatements and Access Now, our mobile banking app. Both of these products will help to make banking with us more convenient and will also help to provide you with a safer and more secure banking experience. So for all your banking needs, just give us a call or stop by and let us show you personal banking at its best. Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Okay, welcome back to the show, John. I know you guys have been in Dublin, around Dublin. You've had representatives come speak with our ambassador group at the chamber, uh, city council meetings here today. Um, and in many days in the recent months, you guys got a lot of things going on here. Talk to me about some of the projects that are happening right now. Yeah, we're pretty, uh, this is a pretty active deal, especially, uh, for, you know, for what you read in the, in the national news about malls and strip centers, you know. Uh, Dublin, the mall itself is doing really well. We were uh, very fortunate in the fact that we we're uh, able to put a lot of capital back into some uh, and, and ma major capital improvements of the property. Uh, we're going to be doing things like uh, we're going to be bringing a sign to Dublin that really is not, not nothing in the markets like it. Uh, it'll be something that's uh, you'd see in a quality of an Atlanta or an Augusta or a Greenville or something like that. Extremely high LED signage. It'll give us the ability to try to do real time video for Santa Claus events in the mall, um, Easter. Uh, as well as advertise for our tenants, as well as possibly advertise for other uh, people within the Dublin market. Um, you know, there's a lot of vehicles that run up and down that road every day, and so we'll have the ability to do that. Uh, the other big thing is we're doing some improvements that people may or may not see, like the roof. You know, we're renovating the roof on a couple different tenants' space. Belk was just recently completed in the last couple of days. Uh, we're moving over, doing some common area uh, roofing over where we are right now, and then actually going down and doing another new roof on, on top of uh, farmers. So, so we want to let people know really quick, if you've been in the mall recently, if you've been in Belk, and, and maybe there were some signs or some anything going on in there, all that's taken care of now in good shape. That's correct. Yeah, we're in the process. We're actually going to we're in the process of working with Belk on renovating the now inside, now that everything's dry above it, and all the damages that we had from things that fell through the roof and things like that. Uh, we're in the process right now of being able to you know, repair those uh, areas. Um, another item that we're really big on is natural lighting and lighting in general for people that shop here to feel safe. And we want open areas. Um, that's why a lot of spots in the mall, you see some 12 foot glass and open areas that, you know, within shoe department Encore, as well as some of our other interior tenants. Uh, we're gonna redo all the lighting and bring it up to the current day standards with LED, not just outside, but also inside. So, you know, it's gonna be, you know, be happening very quickly with that. We just, uh, in fact, just met this morning with some electricians and the suppliers of the LED lights. And so all that will be happening really quickly as well. And so uh, in the next few weeks, you're going to really see a, a new and uh, white, bright lighting, but also with the energy efficient uh, in the fact that it's all LEDs now, So, which would be really good for all the, the patrons to be able to use. And, and, John, I'm guessing all of this would lead to some recruitment maybe of some new um, maybe restaurants, retail, different types of stores? It will, you know. So I think the hot topic that everybody we hear in Dublin is is about J.C. JCPenney. Um, and I think I've tried to explain this as best we can to the public. Uh, it's an old, unique lease that just has kind of a, uh, it has kind of a dead man's uh, period in, in the fact that nobody can uh, – you know, they won't release us to be able to go out and market the space and vice versa. We can't rely, rely on them to go do a sublease and who would do a sublease for a short period of time. However, uh, we're now kind of in that area where we can start marketing it and we've had some great interest. And so we feel like some of these improvements are going to really be able to help uh, whoever backfills that space and would be a great addition to the mall. Okay, and, and I think that's great. And, and John, we're, we're open and honest. You and I have known each other for a good while. We, we talked about before we come on asking anything we want to talk about here. Um, Talk to me a little bit about outside, and, and you know we have the, the, the issue everybody asks about, and they always want to know about the parking lot and what's going on with the parking lot out there. Are things being done on the outside as well as the inside other than signage and lighting? That's correct. We, you know, again, we're, uh, we thought we had a tenant in place was the reason that the area was stayed open. We've now, uh, uh, in the process of hopefully, uh, got two tenants that we're hopefully attracting to, this, to the market by making these improvements. But we will go ahead and repair all the areas and put uh, gravel back down in the old uh, spot where uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, we were hoping we were going to be attracted to the market uh, where they were going to go. But we truly, the one thing that's great and we've worked with the city on now is that we truly are a pad ready site. Uh, we're going to put the, you know, put the curbs in and the things that need to go so that basically all the, uh, you know, fencing and temporary fencing and things like that can come down uh, but we bas basically now when we put this gravel back up it's a it's an indication from us as Dublin Mall as well as the city of Dublin and the chamber that we're truly pad ready and we're ready to go we've got everything in place the power the 
uh, grease traps, uh, you know, storm water, anything that, that a tenant, whether it's a restaurant, retail, whatever it might be, we truly will be ready to go right out in front. Okay. Let me ask you one more question, and, and I don't know if, uh, I think I may have asked you, but I've certainly not asked you on camera, and it, it's kind of a, one of those things that just goes around town sometimes. Um, with the spot out in front next to the, the mattress store, um, is there something written somewhere about a drive through or something that, that there can be or can't be a drive through and it's something maybe you guys had done with Belk? Yeah, so long, term ago, long time ago, again, it's something that we've in discussion, but there is a restriction on a drive through out there. Okay. Um, and it's not just Belk, it's some other, other tenants as well. Um, and basically, uh, we can, we're allowed to do an 8,000 square foot facility in the front of the, in the mall, which, which we will do the 8,000 square foot of facility. Um, the great news is for everybody is that we also have been working really hard with the city on the Hillcrest widening, which would be uh, on the other side of the mall, which is another, we feel like you know, Hillcrest and uh, Veterans Boulevard is the main and main uh, interchange of Dublin, uh, especially out west of town. Um, and so basically we've been working really well with the city, the DOT and the splash money that y'all have provided for that widening. Um, and we will have the ability to do drive-throughs and fast food restaurants there. Uh, we feel like there's actually a great spot once we get up the construction and everything all in place, we may have a spot for multiple restaurants. We feel like that's gonna be a phenomenal, phenomenal area. And so we look, we look forward to working with Dublin and the city uh, on bringing somebody to the market in that area as well. So, so I think safe to say a, a new look, a current, modern, uh, well-lit, um, huge sign out front and, and bringing things up to grade, up to scale to, to help move them all forward. Sure. And, and really, we, what we really want to get back to, we're going to do a couple things on the inside of the mall too, some uh, replacing some of these tile borders, some new carpet borders and some things and some fresh and paint in some areas. And what we really want to get back to is we want everybody to know that, hey, listen, we are, we're with the local uh, economy. We're with all the local shoppers. We want to be the city center. Uh, we're going to bring events back to the mall, uh, things that we basically have uh, done in the past. We're actually looking, we've got, you know, with the computer now, we're able to go back and track things that were done from the 60s to now. So maybe there was uh, something that's not, you know, in style anymore, but you know, everything has trends. Maybe something's right. coming back. So back. we might bring something back from the old days. That's fantastic, John. I appreciate your time today. We're going to take one more commercial break and we'll come back and wrap things up. If you're looking for a new home, look no further than Century 21 Durden Cornegay, where you'll find beautiful homes like this one at 959 Pine Hill Road, listed for $147.5. Agent Jay Brantley invites you to come see this well-maintained brick home. Three bedroom, two bath, in excellent condition with a large carport in the back of the home. It's moving ready, a great location in our county schools. Or right, look at this home at 301 Regency Circle for $139.9 in the city of Dublin, listed by Agent Yvonne Robertson. This home is a new roof, new HVAC, endless possibilities. It's close to shopping and a motivated seller. This home has a spacious foyer, formal dining room, great room with a masonry fireplace. It has a large kitchen, huge sunroom off the breakfast room, three bedrooms, nice front porch has a deck on the rear and a beautifully wooded private creekside lot. The seller says bring offers. Arthur's home at 741 Highway 338, listed at 135. In the Northwest Lawrence School District, Pam Tillery is the agent and it's move-in ready. Completely renovated, this updated brick ranch style home sits on one acre in Northwestern Lawrence County and you'll feel like you're entering a brand new home. New flooring throughout, fresh paint, new kitchen counters and appliances, updated bathrooms with new vanities, shower units and toilets. Great open floor plan with a large family room that opens to the kitchen and dining area. Three bedroom, two full baths. Outdoors, the home has a private patio area with built-in grill, brand new metal roof, nice yard and landscaping. Or see this home at 1203 King Edwards Drive, listed at 135. In the city of Dublin, Benny Helton is the agent and he invites you to see this three bedroom, two bath home with dining and formal living room, family room with wood burning fireplace. The kitchen has cooktop and wall oven, large utility room with laundry tub, a beautiful sunroom and so much more. See these and other homes by calling Century 21 today at 272-1535. Log on to c21dublin.com. Century 21 Durden Cornegate, broker George Durden. 
Welcome back, John. Again, man, thank you as always for joining me today. Appreciate you guys and what you're doing here in Dublin, Lawrence County. Um, really exciting stuff here. It's good to see investment. Uh, we always appreciate investment and reinvestment into uh, properties here. So it sounds like you guys have a lot of things that, that you've already planned that we've talked about. Some things that folks can come in and actually already maybe be able to tell that, that work is being done here, but you guys have a lot of exciting things that maybe even in the next six months or so, um, people need to listen and, and be alert in the community to hear things that may be going on at the mall. Yeah, I mean, uh, Heath, we're really focused on trying to get back to some, you know, bringing some key events back and kind of sprucing some key events up. And, you know, I think uh, our goal as a company is to try to have all this in place by Christmas. And obviously, uh, we don't, you know, you know, can't control things with weather and different construction items. So uh, that's our goal. But uh, we certainly, uh, we're doing some cool things with Christmas this year. We really want everybody to come out and support the new, uh, the new Christmas scenes we're going to be doing, the new Santa Claus. Um, we got a different, you know, different elf coming to town this year, and, and Santa, and so, as well as uh, we just want to make sure that the public knows, you know, we are local friendly. We really want to be uh, a local support for events, for retailers, for restaurants. Um, so if there's a way that the uh, public wants to get involved or have an event and they want to be guaranteed to be you know, out of the weather and uh, have guaranteed they can have an event at a specific time, we want to be that facility. And so uh, you know, we're here to help the community. Uh, and as well as we, we, we also active feedback is good for us. You know, we're not perfect uh, as a company. And so if there's something that the group wants to uh, advise us on that they think we can have a better experience for them, we're open to it. And so uh, I, I encourage everybody to reach out to us on our webpage and uh, any of the numbers, if anybody's got an event, to please reach out to us and give us a call at the uh, office number and uh, we'll be in touch with you. And, and that's great to hear, folks. Um, uh, John and his team are here in Dublin, Lawrence County. They are working every day really hard, community-oriented. Um, and, and I don't want to give everything away, John, but but just to say for Christmas, um, Chevrolet would be just a little bit more. You guys are really, really, really wanting to bring Santa to Dublin. Yeah, we really are. So we're, uh, we're, was there, the new sign is going to be a huge hit for the city and so we're going to be able to have things like live live santa feeds uh maybe on this even on the new sign uh we've got a new logo that we've we've put out the you know viewers here around town we want to we appreciate the shamrock but the shamrock need a little spruce up and so uh we're gonna we, facebook and social media has been great about accepting the new uh logo we're putting out it's going to come on the mall it's going to come on the new sign uh and santa we've got this this new group that's coming in to do the santa claus and so we're going to do a great grand opening with santa we'll have more details via social media email and through the media as well as hopefully on the new sign by that point with uh, specific times and details and when that will occur. And we really encourage everybody to come out for it. That's going to be kind of a re-grand opening of us. Uh, it may not be an official re-grand opening, but we, you know, in the event that we have a construction issue, we do another one. But that's kind of that's kind of our, our goal is to have it for that Christmas season. John, if folks are interested in renting a space or a kiosk or anything during the holidays, tell me again, how do they get in touch with you? Yeah, if they, anybody that's interested in kiosk or retail space or uh, in having an event, you know, I encourage everybody to go to Shop Dublin Mall. Uh, shopdoublemall.com is our webpage, or please contact us on social media. You know, we, uh, we're doing a lot of feeds now on various different social media pages, uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and things like that. So, you know, please reach out to us at that, or you can call our home office. Our home office is 706-496-3761, and you can contact myself, John Engler, or Brianna Hamby. And uh, we look forward to getting everybody involved. And, again, we want, we want the local public to, uh, you know, if they've got an idea or they want to have an event or they have want to put a store in the mall, we're open to all those uh, avenues. So please give us a call. John, we appreciate you again, buddy. I want you to know that. And, and for our viewers today, come support our folks here at the mall. They're, they're working hard. They're putting a lot of money into the local mall here. And uh, they're going to help make sure it's another great day for business in Dublin, Lawrence County. Mm -hmm.